So around three years ago, I tried to recreate one of the paintings, oh no, the painting, one of the series from Studio Ghibli. And one of the things I always wanted to paint but didn't really succeed was this scene. So you can see I had this building tried out. I tried to paint clouds. I had no idea how to do it. Um, a tree, I don't know what it is <laughs> here that's going on here. But I thought it'd be fun to retry this painting again because at that point I had like no idea about cotton paper really, techniques I was just learning uh, here. I don't even know what I was doing here. <laughs> that's a very gloomy painting, I know. But that's why I thought let's just check in and see if I can actually paint this scenery. If I try really hard, here's another attempt. Um, I mean, it could be a, even a mountain. I tried to paint a cloud. It looks like a mountain, I think. And I'm sure in a few years, I will look back to my attempts and see uh, and feel like, oh, maybe I can test it again because you always learn something new. Like you always, even if you are not happy with a painting now, you can always improve. And even if you like your painting that you created in a few years, you might discover that so many other techniques and ways and you've improved. So you always improve. So don't even stress about uh, perfect or unperfect paintings. Just do your best whenever you can. And then if you feel like it, try again and see how you have improved. So let's get started. How it started, how it's going. So <laughs> I'm very curious, let's go. So I already drew a small sketch for the house, a little bit of the tree, the island. And so I know where the horizon will be for my painting. And I also prepared some of my watercolor colors. I have indigo blue. This is a royal blue that I want to try out. This is ruby red. This is Naples yellow, uh, may green, raw sienna, burnt umber, and a little bit of cobalt blue. And I will just play around with them. And for this painting, one of the ways you can really use your watercolor paper, especially this is cotton paper. I used a wood pulp paper in the past when I tried my painting three years ago. I don't know. And with cotton paper, you can do so much and have so much fun. I know sometimes people say like, what, do you, what does she mean with fun? It's so frustrating sometimes. It gets better if you practice and I still uh, have um, moments where I'm like nothing works but it's just like a face you just need to push through and then it just gets better and um, yeah so because it's relatively hot in here and I also want to have some more time to work on my clouds especially because they're fluffy clouds and I want to really shape them and also paint wet into wet I don't want to like have everything just keep drying quickly so for this in this case I will use the wet into wet technique but in like full force. So this means I will apply clean water to the back side and the front side. I won't use any tape. I have my drawing board. So this is like a canvas board. I place my tape below so it's tilted. And then I can just attach the wet paper right on my drawing board. So first I will apply clean water to the back side. So I'm just using my flat brush that I recently got just to test it out and see if I like it. Now we'll turn it around. You can see it's already started to warp a little bit. That's fine. And I will do the same on the front side. So I apply clean water all over the paper. And you will notice how it will start to like flatten itself which is really nice. And then, then I will also apply water to the back side again because at this point some moisture is already absorbed into the paper. So I apply more to the back side. Again, just tape it down. You can see how it just is flat and, and I don't need any tape. And this is why I also don't really stretch any watercolor paper. If you use cotton paper and you paint wet into wet, um, anyways, this is pretty much a good way to just give yourself some more time. And later, once it dries, it also don't really warp anymore. 
All right, so now I can start with the lightest color. So this means, for example, for the house here, some water, maybe a little bit of clouds as well. And then I can shape everything and add darker colors on top. So first I will use my Naples yellow and add a little bit of that color to my house. Just so I have already something here to work with later. Maybe on the roof as well. A little bit to my tree, just a little bit. I will shape everything later. Okay, then we have our clouds. So I will start with, with my Naples yellow. Again, very light, very loose. Or maybe I can also add a little bit here. Just a little, a little bit of here on the water. Then I will add some to my clouds. So lighter areas here. So I'm just looking at the reference image of this particular scene. And then just add those, just add the color right there where I can see it. Here, so I'm just pretty much just start with the lightest colors and then build from there. A little pink color, so I'm using this ruby color, just a little bit, maybe add a little bit of Naples yellow just to make it slightly like peachy, you not know, just pink lightly peachy and I will add it also to the water because there's a little bit of this peachiness reflecting not really peachy but it's a little like pinky pink like soft pink color okay again I go back to my clouds and just shape everything wet into wet while the paper is still wet or relatively damp. I don't want to overdo it. Like I still want to keep everything relatively soft and glowy. So I don't want to like create like orange cloud or anything like that. And from there we can start building the different shadows. We have purples, we have blues. Now for the sky, I will start with, um, I think I will start with cobalt blue and then I switch to my, um, this, what was that? Royal blue. I already forgot to paint clouds here, so I'm just going in and shape some of these clouds. Adding a little bit of this blue to the cloud because I see a little bit of blue here. I mean, we are used like a painting already to copy it, so it will be different if it's like a like a real reference image. And I can create a little bit of purple. We we'll use cobalt blue again and go by uh, with my ruby red. Just need to make sure that I'm super careful now. It won't be like a complete copy. I think there's this balance between I'm trying too hard to copy it and not allowing it to make it my own. So I feel like if I try it again at some point, I will do it more, like make it more, you know, don't 
this is exactly the problem when someone tries to recreate some of my tutorials they just get caught up into like trying to make it exactly like i show it or exactly my version of the painting and then they just it makes everyone just not everyone some people get discouraged but this is the whole problem that it doesn't have to look exactly just because my reference image looks like that it doesn't mean i have to copy it but i'm just i guess i was not clear to myself what i actually want i guess that's why i feel like i at some point i was just like i'm i'm not sure am i copying it now or am i what what am i doing okay now we can work on the house now this is be the lightest area so we'll just keep it the way it is and you can work on the end here on this back side so there's lots of reflection going on so i will use some blue from the water and also from less their surroundings so we have let's see so this is like a, like a brownish color so let's say we can use even maple yellow again just a little bit and mix it with the blue color and add it to the back side so this area on this side is darker but still rather literally damp so i need to be careful okay then we have our beautiful rooftop the door the windows a little bit a little bit of liveliness. It's not exactly the same shape, but it's good enough. sure how it looks like I lost the shape here too and that's fine and then the area here tiny <laughs> barely see it a little bit more i think this is <laughs> this brush is a little bit too big okay i think that's enough we'll see how this will look because there's this a little bit of blue blue sky shining through so maybe i can make this more visible here and there's also these clouds here in front but i don't want to add them there i mean they're part of the reference image but i just wanted to focus on the clouds on the house and yeah i think i think there's improvements uh let's see what so ah here this one <laughs> so these were my first tries of this cloud on this paper here I don't even know like i mean i kind of was working light to dark 
so there was something so yeah i think we have improved so i mean that's why i'm saying that don't worry if something doesn't look exactly like you want right now you will always all these messed up paintings they teach you something and you continue practicing practice everything that you put to paper is not wasted it's actually a progress you make progress no matter what the result is and like here what was a, like you can see i tried i tried <laughs> and now after all these years of practicing having all these um bad paintings they taught me a lot and there's still I, i'm sure like I, i'm sure in, in a few years i will look back and feel like what is this <laughs> or feel like i could have done better but that's okay like i'm i'm satisfied with the way it is now i can always improve and i'm still working on it and i can't wait to go back to this painting or to another painting and see how i improved again um so this is something that you can always do like whenever you feel like um you don't notice any progress just go back to the very very first attempts of something and try it again you will be surprised how better you've become you will already be more familiar with how to navigate through wet into wet or other techniques that were super difficult for you in the beginning and you will notice how much it's much more easier <laughs> for you this time around uh, if you want i can also make a video about how to exactly paint certain clouds especially like maybe this particular cloud or just something like similar to that so let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video about how to paint clouds in particular and i can make it happen so i really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye